Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel, English and Literature with Carol. In case you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Share, share, share. You know literature is best when it's shared and you learn a lot. Now, remember we had already looked at Act 1, Scene 1. We looked at the synopsis, we looked at what was happening. And uh, this is not just enough. Go through the book. I'm just here to guide you. I'm just here to make sure that you understand the book better. It becomes uh, lovely to you. You are able to flow with it. And now that you're preparing for exams, I thought it was important for me to highlight some of the themes. Some, I have said some, because uh, I may not mention all of them. So I'm just guiding you on how to go about uh, looking into themes. Themes are uh, concluded when you look at the whole book. So don't assume that you already know the themes by just looking at Act 1, Scene 1. But I have read ahead, I have read the book, and I thought it was um, good enough to mention some of the themes that you find in um, The Samaritan. Remember, this is the only marking scheme that you have as The Samaritan, that book there. I have highlighted some of the themes that you will find. Why did I highlight the theme of education? That's a major theme in the book. You will... Um, Notice that she will appear from the beginning to the end. Why is there a theme of education? This is an app. The Samaritan app has been uh, innovated through a school setup. That is Sagrada Secondary School. Did you notice when you are here, you have the advantage of even mastering the places? Because that is what the examiner wants. So at Sagrada Secondary School, there is a teacher there. There is a principal, the deputy principal. We have uh, students like uh, Montano and Alvita. They are in a school setup. That shows us there is a theme of education. All in all, we see that in this school setup, Madame Nicole has helped Montano and Alvita to come up with the Samaritan. This is an app that has been uh, uh, tried and tested in. Uh, Maracas municipality. So there is the theme of education there. Any other mention of uh, characters that are in the classroom, learning as you will uh, proceed in the other acts and uh, scenes that you will see? You will see now in the theme of education, I have mentioned it here because it starts from the beginning all the way. Uh, uh, themes uh, appear at least twice or thrice or even five times in a book. And you'll find out that there is a theme of education. You'll find out that the students are, are, are the assembly. They are answering questions when they are being asked. We have the principal who is Madame Nareen, uh, who is um, in charge of the whole school. And there is learning going on, in fact, in a classroom. That is the theme of education. Why am I also mentioning the other scenes? Because themes cut across. You don't just highlight one place and you say this qualifies to be a theme. Mm -mm. No. Themes, this one is a message that is passed by the writer. What motivated the writer to come up with this information? To pass uh, certain information. And some of the information that the writer is passing is that education is very important. School systems, the school systems can actually play a major role in uh, making our society a better place. Like uh, the Samaritan app has been on, innovated and we'll be checking out on who are these wrongdoers? Who are these uh, misusing the public funds? And that is where we will get to our second theme, that is the misuse of power. Who are these misusing power? Did you notice Mayor Morsi? When he says that he's a smoke that thunders, he's actually trying to intimidate Nicole into not posting anything in the app. He has misused his powers. He comes there not to encourage the students into integrity and doing the right thing, but to try and intimidate Nicole. He, in fact, he does not even recognize the hard work of these students. He wants to blackmail everyone and uh, assume that this, this one is a wrong app. He's misusing his powers. He says no. 
I cannot launch this app. Why would Miyamosi not uh, launch an app that is helping the people? He is a selfish man. We will get to characters and characterization. One of the differences that you must know when you're analyzing themes, characters, styles, is that in themes, you are looking at the subject matter. What is being talked about there? What are these people doing there? If people like Basdeo do not even have a say and tell Meamosi, no, you are doing the right thing, uh, the wrong thing, actually launch this app because you shall help uh, the citizens. That one now, they are also misusing the power. And now there is a use of technology. How do we conclude that there, there is a theme of technology in the Samaritan? Because we have um, the app itself, the Samaritan app. If you are to pick that as an excerpt, remember you can even point out exactly where they are talking about this. Where, when um, you, you want to support your sentence and your theme, you can actually say uh, exactly where this um, uh, technology has been mentioned and where it has been used. Like on page eight, you, you see, uh, that is what Alvita says, people had become so creative that they designed intelligent robots that replaced even professionals like judges and police officers. So justice and law enforcement were rendered by machines to all people without discrimination. So that they use the power of technology that actually uh, she's um, dreaming of uh, a time where robots would take over general careers like um, the ones that you have just mentioned. And also, definitely with the use of technology, the Samaritan app itself is an online platform for uploading videos. And they have given us a clear, clear definition there. Uh, maybe we can look at uh, page 11 and see what they say. Oh yes, Alvita says, we initially deployed it on a trial. Uh, Montano has asked, oh, I think it makes sense. Have you tried it? So, and there's a whole uh, description of how the Samaritan app works so that you know that uh, actually this is the use of technology from page uh, 11 all the way there. Now think of a wall with a pigeon hole or for every municipal department where officials get letters, notifications and other communications from members of the public, this is what the innovation is all about. Only the pigeonholes on digital wall and the letters, the notifications and other communications are in soft rather than hard form of the physical parliament. So if um, this information is in soft copies, then we know this one is the use of technology. That's how we concluded there's a theme of technology. And I have given you different examples where the robots are working, where the Samaritan app itself is working as that. And you see uh, Alvita moves on and says, oh yes, we initially deployed it on a trial run to protect our environment. People took photographs and videos of illegal activities that degrade the environment in our neighborhoods, provided details of the location where the activities were taking place. And the people involved and posted uh, all this information in the pigeon hall of the municipal department responsible for environment on the app. So you can see they are already using that even to curb uh, environmental degradation and that will take us to our other theme. But let's look at why did we uh, conclude that there's a theme of betrayal. These leaders are betraying the masses. Meamosi has been elected to take care of the society, to take care of the interests of the citizens. And this is um, an innovation that could actually oversee any kind of corruption and cabinet. But what does he do? He says, mm -mm, no, I'm not going to launch this. He's betraying the masses. He's betraying the citizens. That is why we have concluded there is betrayal. That is why you, you, you could see it coming up over and over again when the leaders will um, actually be fighting for their own interests, not just the citizens' interests. Remember, the citizens are the ones that put them in the office. That's how we know there's a theme of betrayal in the Samaritan.
and also there is a theme of environmental degradation. Through the play within a play, the skit that Montana and, and Vita were uh, enacting, you will notice that there is actually the use of environmental degradation as a theme where they were talking of uh, everywhere it was polluted you would even have a running nose constantly and also they are trying to deal with the environmental degradation by trying to take photographs of uh, what is happening in the environment and it will move on and be building on that so those are some of the themes how many others do you know my viewer Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, share with your classmates and let them give uh, their voice in this because we are learning, uh, I'm also learning, you know learning never stops. We could share a thing or two. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share, share, share. In the next video, we will look at styles um, in uh, scene one or we can even look at it now. There is play within a play because that is what Alvita and Montano are doing. They are enacting, traveling into the future 50 years from now, telling us what will be happening. And uh, we see uh, during the school assembly, they have that skit and everything happens uh, when they want to make us understand what this Samaritan is all about. That is play within a play. Why is there, why are we saying there is irony in the Samaritan? There is so much irony, my audience. How can a leader, Mia Mosi, be against the people? It is against even um, the, the human conduct. If he has been elected as the mayor of the people, then he should be taking the interest of the people. But it, it is ironical that the same leader who is supposed to be taking uh, care of the interests of the people is the worst, is the one that's saying, mm -mm, no, this one should not happen. He has three phones. How many phones, my viewers? Three phones. Yet he has not gone online. He doesn't know that the app has been running for the last one month. He was told, he was informed, not like this app was done in secret. Yet he comes here and claims that mm, I wasn't made um, aware of what is happening. That is irony. And you also have the use of rhetorical questions. Where someone, if someone asks a question and um, you, you don't uh, get an answer for that. Those questions are meant for you to think deeply. Those are what you call use of rhetorical questions like good people. Are, you, uh, are there any good people around here? How do you know? Uh, people will not write lies. These are questions that we do not have um, direct responses because uh, what Alvita talks about there is people will take responsibility for what they write. <laughs> She's not answering on good people. So that's how we know there is a style of rhetorical questions. And definitely the use of many other styles that we will continue looking at. I want us to look at scene by scene so that when we analyze, at least you will feel that you have actually achieved much in these videos. Thank you for being here. Please share my content and uh, look out for Act 1, Scene 2 as you continue learning. Bye!